most of the slots now coming open is for southbound. So we haven't really seen people ballasting their ship from Asia to Panama or speculation because it's very hard to fix a ship when you don't know when you are arriving. So typically when you discharge a cargo in, in Asia, you would try to fix a ship on firm dates in America uh, well, more than a month in advance. And then you don't know, I, 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 am I going to wait in Panama for two days, 10 days, 12 days? So it's where you so have to put in a lot of cushion, but also the charter will be, you know, a bit reluctant to fix that ship because it doesn't really have a firm date. So why not go for a ship that is going through Cape of Good Hope where I'm 100% sure that that ship will arrive in time. So that is holding people back from ballasting to Panama on speculation. But we do see that more on the laden leg, people are taking the chance. A lot of the growth in China has been driven by new PD-8 plants. They've been really ramping up a lot of PD-8 plants. And one of the reasons the product arbitrage has been lowered because of course you have the cold weather in the US, but it's also been lower prices in the international market because plastic prices have collapsed. There's been a glut of new capacity, which has driven down the price of plastics, which is hurting the margin and the utilization factor of the, all the Chinese plants that have been, been ramping up. Yeah, everybody actually was a lot more worried about the VLGC order book uh, 18, 24 months ago, and everybody more or less was super bearish on 23 because scheduled new buildings for 23 was 46. I think we ended up around 40. Some slippage. Typically, when market is good, there's less slippage. We had two or four ships slip. So right now, of course, uh, the order book or the number of ships coming to the market is, is tailing off. So you have a situation here now where we had 46 ships scheduled for delivery last year, and we're going for the next couple of years, 24, 25, 26, 27. This will be more like on average 15 ships. So the normal seasonality is LNG rates tend to bottom in week 11, 12, and March, and then they start to firm up again before winter, the summer season. Of course, April is what we call the shoulder month. You can coming out of the winter season. First of April is the end of the heating season. But of course, if you're taking a cargo, you're fixing a uh, April cargo typically in March, February. So then that's typically the bottom of the freight rates. And then they start firming up during the summer. You might have some floating storage during the summer because typically what happens at that time is you get contango in the gas prices. So gas prices are lower in the summer than in the early winter. So people are starting to float cargoes. So that is driving vessel demand. And then rates tend to firm up and peak around November. And then you, at November, you, you know a bit how the winter is going to play out.